This is Kate. Hi. <laughs> this is Jake the snake. <laughs> So then I've got one, two. Oh, that's your leg! Oh my god! <laughs> Let me pull you out. Hi everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Lost in Transit. We're Tom and Iz. A couple of years ago, we decided to do up an old Ford Transit, move into it, and disappear into the great outdoors. After fitting out the van and escaping lockdowns, we are finally living van life. Come along for the ride as we attempt to live, work, and play in a tiny space together while travelling the world. Having spent three months in Scotland, we crossed the Irish Sea to Ireland. This series, we will be following the Wild Atlantic Way along some of the most spectacular scenery in the world. wet and wild van tree. Oh, welcome to a new vlog. Oh, we are in the tail end of Storm Eunice and it is terrible weather. We have quite an exciting day today because some of our friends are coming to meet us and they have come out from all the way from Cornwall and we're going to spend a week with them. For the moment, we're hiding from the worst of the storm in the van. Our best friends Kate and Jake have come all the way from Cornwall over to West Cork and we're going to have a week with them exploring. So we're going to bring you along with us and I can't wait for you to meet them. So Kate and Jake are our really good friends from school. Kate is in Izzy's year and they were really close friends going up all the way through and then me and Jake are in the same year and we were really good friends growing up all the way through school and then them two got together so it's um, like a best friends couple which is really great. Take a reverse next to them. <laughs> Hello! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're going to give you a full introduction later to KJ, but we've just arrived at our place that we're staying at for the next three nights. Come on up! Wow! It's so warm. Oh my gosh. There's a fireplace in the bedroom. Oh, the kitchen. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> So guys, the storm is raging outside and we've actually had a power cut. Uh, Kate is shining her phone light on me. Oh, well done. Well done for lighting them. That's quite nice, actually. <laughs> so the lights are back on. We had about two hours in dark. It was actually really fun. We just lit the little fire. Morning guys, we had a nice first night with Kate and Jake. We're gonna have our brekkie and then go and explore Loch Hine. Do a big walk around Loch Hine. Tommy, we're passengers, this is exciting. Yeah, it's going to show driving. driving this week, uh, which is great. Um, we've got our friend Jake visiting and his chauffeur. Knock on that, wood nature. We're off to do the Knock on Mag Wood Nature Trail. Oh, it's such a nice day, the sun is out and the birds are singing. Oh, it's so nice. After the big storms we've had, it's so good to have some nice weather again. So apparently this walk is two kilometres to the top and it seems like it's two kilometres of just stairs. It's really steep. Welcome to our friends, Kate and Jake. We've been talking about them all the time. You've been seeing them quite a lot, hanging out at this house, going on a walk up a mountain. Who are they? Are we in this introduction? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Mimi, come around here, come around. This is Kate. Hi. <laughs> We've been best friends since seven years seven old. Seven years old. That it's is 10 whole years. <laughs> We're gonna have a 10 year ride. Now just taking double it, 20 years. Double, double trouble. Double trouble. And this is Jay. This is Jay. This is Jake the snake. He's a 
true Bodmin legend, <laughs> big name in Bodmin. Big uh, we have been friends since year Forever. seven. Forever and ever. Longer than they have, because no, you're no. older. Yeah. We're older. So. Yeah, but we were yeah. friends since seven so, years old. Yeah. You've been friends since you were 11 years nah, old. No, but we were spiritual brothers before. Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry. So yeah, this is Jake and Kate, good friends from back home, and they've come out to see us. Uh, we're celebrating Jake's 30th, he's a big boy now. <laughs> and we're Bodmin power couples. How crazy Bodman is that? Couples. Best friends, best friends, together. <laughs> we're not like that, we don't. <laughs> Gannet facts, Gannets mate for life. They can dive into the water at speeds up to 60 miles an hour. Uh, they've got like a, like a sack like an airbag essentially in their neck, which stops them from breaking their neck on entry. Wow. They can dive under the water about two minutes maximum and depths of about 10 to 15 Hello. meters. <laughs> wow, Jake. And how would you ID a gannet? Uh, big wingspan, probably like one and a half meters easy, black tips on the end and a big orange head. So the whole head is orange? Yeah. Okay. I'm looking out for some gannets big today. beak. Yeah, they're, they're lovely birds they are, and they cape lovely birds. <laughs> this is stunning. This is crazy. So we're back at the B and B. Uh, we're having a little coffee break. Uh, just plan what we're going to do the rest of the day. We've got lots of pins saved on our map, so it's really just a case of deciding where to go. We have set off again. We are heading to Toehead. <laughs> It's wet, it's miserly. So it is pitch black outside, uh, but we've decided we're going to venture out into the night uh, to test out the hot tub that they have in the garden here. We have had a really lovely time in the hot tub. And then we came in and had dinner cooked by Kate and Jake. Really nice chilli with rice and some wraps. Uh, it's really nice to see some familiar faces. Like we've met lots of amazing people on our travels, but it's really nice to actually be with our best friends. So we've driven a short way to Baltimore and this is where we're going to catch our boat from. It's going to take about 50 minutes to an hour. The guys, uh, boat drivers, just to let us know that it's going to be very choppy. Um, but it'll be there in an hour, so sh shouldn't be too bad. Woo! Oh, I love catching a boat. It's so exciting, it right? Isn't it? What's happened to you? <laughs> We are King Cow. Hey, this is hilarious. Oh my god, guys! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, yeah. Play ball. Cheers mate, thank you. A very exciting boat ride over to Cape Clear. This island looks amazing and the sun is out. 
Yeah, we're all soaking wet. That was really good. It was a really fun boat experience. Isabel and I were both pretty nervous, but for slightly different reasons. Um, Isabel was really worried about being sick and I was really worried about dying. Um, <laughs> but no one was sick and no one died. So we had a really good boat trip. Right, so what's the plan? Start then, pub. A two to right. two and a half hour walk, as moderate, 7K. And then we're probably going to try and find a pub. Brave in the weather. Guys, doesn't this look like our kind of bar? Oh, <laughs> so we've managed to pick a glorious day to come out to Cape Clear, but it's very windy. Oh, fast net! Fast net! So fast net rock, the lighthouse on it is made of 2,074 slabs of Cornish granite and they are three tons each and they were actually assembled over Cornwall and then reassembled, sent over and then assembled again here. It's the edge of the world looking out to the Atlantic. Uh, lots of, as Izzy mentioned, connections to our homeland with the lighthouse but also it is the birthplace of the same Kieran who uh, was the first saint in Ireland, chucked off a rock in the end and ended up in Cornwall. And we believe it is St. Pyrrhon, who is our patron saint, patron saint of tin miners in Cornwall. So it's nice for us to be here and, uh, and see that. Stay left, very political. Piggy, piggy. <laughs> We just met someone that lives on this island, he's lived for 30 years, Andy, um, a lovely guy and he, he was telling us all about island life and he said next time we come we should make sure we come in time for the storytelling festival which is in September, sounds like a lot of fun. So we've just got on the ferry and there's, um, there's a cow coming with us on the ferry. So I asked about the cow and apparently she has an injured hoof and uh, they're taking her over to the vet. So uh, hopefully her hoof will get fixed up on the mainland and then she's back out, back to Cape Clear to live the rest of her days. Did you introduce the cow already? Well, I don't know her name. This crossing is so delightful for this morning and we just saw a seal. It's so much calmer than it was this morning so I can actually enjoy it. And it's just amazing to be out of the ocean. I love it! It is such a fun experience, so I recommend getting the old boat over to Cape Clear. For <laughs> sure. I've had a great day. Uh, getting my vitamin D levels up on a boat just been to an island. What more can I say? Bloody brilliant. This cow must be having as good a time as me. <laughs> <laughs> it's really rocky. So we are just about to check out of this Airbnb. Uh, we've been running around all morning getting it ready to leave. Uh, but I think we're at a point now where it's basically just uh, leaving. And we're going to make the most of it and enjoy a little daytime hot tub. <laughs> in Valley de Hob and had a little rest stop at Bud's which was a lovely little cafe and we're actually on the road now to go up to the summit of Mount Gabriel. We are able to drive up there, hopefully Lavamba will make it. We're going up um, Mount Gabriel, it's really steep and like big hairpin bends. We weren't sure if we were able to do it in the transit but so far so good. Don't want to speak too soon though, we're not there yet. We're nearly at the top and it's really beautiful. The sun's coming through, the views are incredible, even though it's quite cloudy. Um, we're getting some mad views. Hey! 
next one we are just amazed by the drive here it was so beautiful and now we haven't even gone in the house and we're already in awe there's this like crazy little like hobbit house which we think might be a sauna <gasps> It's a beautiful day. Oh, I'm wearing Isabel's glasses. I should probably grab some contacts. So it's a beautiful day. It's a pretty cold day. It's been snowing this morning. We're off to the much awaited Mizzen Head and it just happens to be hailing it down. Four degrees outside. So we've arrived at Mizzen Head. Uh, it's really windy out there. And it's like two degrees. It's been snowing and hailing on our way here. Um, we tried to go to Free Castle Head, but it's closed because of coastal erosion. Apparently, big storms have not been good to do it. Um, Mizzen Head, uh, there's a nice bridge off to the little islandy bit, but that also looks closed. But we're going to go out and have a look here and um, brave the, the windy blow. It's a shame that everything was closed, but it was really cool to see the waves and experience the wind up there. It was crazy. Um, well, we've driven down to Barley Cove, which is a nice little beach uh, and you can walk there over a little floating walkway over the river apparently, so we're going to go and do that now. So normally there's a floating walkway here, but it's all like on the side of the beach, so we can't walk across. The dunes here were formed uh, when there was a tsunami due to a Portuguese earthquake, which is pretty mind-blowing. Um, but yeah, unfortunately we couldn't get onto the beach. We've just stopped in Skull. Um, first time being in Skull, very, very nice. Lots of colourful buildings. Good evening, everyone. We have had a really nice chilled out e afternoon slash evening in this beautiful house. Ha and I've just been cooking us up um, stuffed peppers for starter with lasagna for Maine. So it's been really nice having an oven and lots of space to cook. Well, that was a success, very yummy. Went down a treat, one whole lasagna down, nearly, and there's another spare in the fridge. Morning, everybody. Today is the best weather of the week. We, we've got the least amount of wind. It's, enough, it's a lovely sunny day. And we are off to Sheep's Head Peninsula. Yeah, we'll do the long one, I reckon. Yeah, we're gonna. Guys, we've just arrived at the start of our walk. We're going to do the Glan Low Loop. It's 15.4 kilometres and it's got an ascent of 510 metres. <gasps> and this walk, it's a stunner. Um, quite boggy, so make sure you bring uh, good waterproof shoes, not like me. I've got, I think hiking boots would be better than walking shoes. I've got these like squelchy shoes on. Um, but yeah, so far we're like a quarter of the way in and it's so nice we've got lovely weather to um, share with Kate and Jake while they're here. We've made it to the highest point and the views are spectacular. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, it's really windy up here. The weather is changing a bit, the clouds coming in. Oh, look at your leg, oh my god. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Let me put you out. 
We found a little field, we're all very hungry and we need some energy from the sunnies. Tom's borderline hangry. Stop <laughs> <laughs> borderline. Yeah. Tom's hangry. Stop talking me. Hey everyone, quick realisation that it's Glan Lock, not Glan Low. So future me has been saying this wrong a lot. Apologies for that. We must be getting near the end of a loop now, but we parked in a pub car park, so uh, hopefully it'll be open when we get back and we can uh, sneak in a quick pint. We finished the walk, we're having a celebratory pint. Yeah, Woo! Glenlock loop, Glen, Glen Lock loop. <laughs> so one of the features of this beautiful house we're staying at is a sauna. There's a wood-fired sauna in the garden, it's amazing. Um, so we're going to go and start it now and then it should be nice and hot in 30 to 40 minutes. Down below the sauna there's a beautiful pool um, that we think we're going to have a swim in mid sauna to cool down. It's really cold, I just tested it, but it's, it's, it's going to be nice and refreshing. It is so nice, it would have been a shame not to use it. It'd be a nice way to start the day as well, have yeah, this and early day. and then go and have breakfast. <gasps> oh. Sad day today, Kate and Jake are leaving, they have to go back home. We've got to leave this beautiful place and it's been an amazing time, been an amazing week. It's flown by and we are sorry to see them go. We're leaving this uh, house now, we're checking out and we're moving back into lovely La Bamba. Always a bit weird moving back into the van after having the home comforts. Thank you so much for watching this week, I um, really hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're going to eat up our pasta and probably watch something on the projector. Get back into the swing of living in the van. Pasta! Stuff everywhere! Stuff everywhere! See you next week!